Hello guys, welcome back to another retro movie review. It's been a while since I've done one of these and um, I just picked up a movie from the shelf um, and this week we've been getting a 4K release of it. I've got the standard Blu-ray and this is Contagion. <laughs> Yes, Contagion here is, uh, I was going to say the new movie because I'm so used to saying that, but this is a film that came out in 2011 and um, obviously at the time when it came out it probably wasn't that popular uh, in terms of, you know, a generic film. But with COVID-19 happening uh, a couple of years ago, obviously, it kind of took a bit of a resurgence. And now we've had a 4K release of a standard Amaray as well as a Steelbook. Now I've had this in my collection for a while and um, I decided to give it a watch and, and see exactly what it's, what it's about. It has an amazing cast in the film. Marion Cotillard, uh, Matt Damon, Lawrence Fishburne, Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Kate Winslet. So a great cast in terms of, you know, people recognized actors and actresses, etc. And um, obviously I wanted to get into it. So I think what I will say right off the bat is I, it wasn't what I expected it to be, but then at the same time, what would I have I expected, if that makes sense? Because it takes, you, you, I expected like COVID-19 level of like dealing with stuff, but it obviously adds a lot more drama onto the top because it's a film and it's trying to be entertaining and interesting and different and all of that. So I think for me, it just went like way too extreme, like Last of Us extreme, like, <laughs> like, you know, it wasn't just face masks and PPE and stuff. It was like, oh my God, we're going to like turn into zombies. Don't breathe on me. I'm going to die. Like it it was all that and I was just like oh I didn't really expect it to be like this but then at the same time what would have I expected it to be you know I thought it was quite poor though to be honest with you I thought the script was quite poor I thought it was quite messy and chaotic uh, I feel like there was you had like six different storylines going off even though like Matt Damon and Gwyneth Paltrow were like a relationship there was one story but then you had like four other stories going on uh, so Kate Winslet was like a doctor who actually was like trying to figure out what the virus was she actually contracted it and yeah uh, Jude Law was like an activist like an anti-vaxxer basically like don't take the vaccine don't do this don't do that i think he his like story thing was quite good marion cotillard was like on the ground in hong kong because that's where the outbreak broke out and yeah, she got like kidnapped and stuff like that and that was a bit like whoa uh, and then Lawrence fishburne was working closely with kate winslet but he was like more like government like official i believe so yeah they all had these like different roles and stuff like that and it was jumping quite a lot and obviously it's not really like a, a film where it kind of had a beginning middle and end it was kind of going here and then here and then it was obviously just darting around the world and I felt like it was hard to you know to um to keep up with the film to be honest so yeah it was um all right but it wasn't great like it wasn't I don't think I'd watch it again put it that way as for the blu-ray transfer it was decent definitely wouldn't have been wouldn't be a film I'd buy in 4k for the collection and you know I always ask myself like you know would I watch this again now probably not like it's probably gonna go in a pile ready to trade in at CEX or something because it is, you know, I'm never going to watch her again, so there's no point in it going on the shelf and taking up an extra space. Um, I only want things in my collection that I'm going to reach for, whether or not I plan to do videos on them and or, you know, um, will watch them again. Um, so rating Contagion then, what would I give it? Obviously, I've never seen it before. It's a first time watch for me. What did I score it on my letterbox account? Well, I actually gave it a two star, um, as I say. I had some good ideas to, um, you know, obviously you got to take yourself out of the equation of COVID-19 and you've got to go back to when this film was initially launched and released. And it is a good concept, you know, having like a, a virus taking over the world. It is a good concept, obviously a concept that has been done you know in different ways like the last of us and stuff like that it has been done in, in many different ways so it's a good concept but in practice i don't think it was executed very well i think the only thing going for this film was the actors and actresses that I've had involved you know most notably um gwyneth paltrow she was fab in this film although she wasn't in it for that long um as well as kate winslet i think kate winslet for me was like the the best actress in this film um because i just think her performance was fab jude law his performance was a bit weird and he had like these weird prosthetic like teeth in and it just looked odd um but his actual story i thought was quite good and his like like angle of like how they portrayed him was, was really interesting but yeah contagion nothing spreads like fear i mean this isn't spread in any way um in my opinion if you catch this on netflix or something give it a watch it's, it's all right you might find it an interesting watch but for me i definitely won't be picking it up on 4k let alone paying 30 odd quid for a steelbook as i say you could probably get this for a quid or two in uh, cex 
Um, but yeah, Contagion, two star. I didn't expect nothing less, to be honest with you, but there it is. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's retro movie review. Stay tuned for more. I have got loads of videos coming out this month. I'm trying to watch a lot of movies in the collection, random titles like Contagion. I'm just going to pick things off the shelf and watch them. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.